So in this short video, we're going to show how to do a head turn with a basic character. We're going to use Monty, who can be easily downloaded from Creative Crash, highend3d.com. And I'm going to start at the animation blog here. And if you scroll over and scroll down and use the search bar, you can search for Monty. And you can find all about Monty here at the blog. Uh, there he is, recommended rigs, Monty the Green Pea. It's kind of an older rig, but still really, really super useful and a great place to start with animation. And there's lots of useful information here on how to use Monty and also a link to how to find him at Creative Crash um, and or highend3d.com or whatever it's called nowadays. And you'll be able to download him from there. So once you've done that, once you've downloaded Monty, we're gonna go ahead and do the usual thing, which is open up Maya and then create a project. And I'm gonna go file, project window, so we're going to start by, um, I'm just going to tear off this menu so we can go down to project window where we create a new project. I'm going to go to new and instead of naming it new project, we're going to call this Monty head turn. So, and I'm going to do it all in one word because, whoops, uh, Maya does not like uh, spaces. We could also use underscores. Then I'm going to hit accept. And then once we've done that, just close that out and we'll go file, set project. And there we go. Now we've set to Monty head turn, which is the only project in the folder at the moment. So then what we want to do is um, create some, uh, go ahead to, you go to my desktop where I've saved Monty. There we go. Um, and I'm going to go edit, copy. Um, uh, actually, what I'll just even even simpler. I'm just going to go to the my desktop and go. Uh, so I'm just opening up a window on my desktop. Now I'm going to go to Documents, Maya, uh, Projects, and there it is. There's Monty Head Turn. If I open it up, I'm going to find all these subfolders down here. And if I go to my Scenes folder, I'm not going to find anything in there. So I'm just going to drag. Monty, which I've downloaded from Creative Crash, um, uh, highend3d.com, and I'm just going to pop that in there. And so now I've got Monty in my folder. So I can go ahead and open Monty up, file open. There he is. There's Monty. I open him up, and now I've got Monty in um, in my. Um, uh, let's see, we don't want the outline of that. So um, now I've got Monty in my scene. Now we're going to want to go to a multi view. So I'm going to go panels, uh, layouts, three pane split top. And at the bottom layer, I'm going to go to graph editor. Uh, there we go, panel graph editor. So I've got the graph editor down below. I've got Monty up top like this. And if I hit spacebar, I'm going to get a view like that. Now a few other things to keep in mind. We also want to um, turn off select surface objects. So this little bar up here, I can just open that up. Actually, where I will, first of all, we want to be in the animation menu and it'll be in here somewhere. There we go. Uh, there it is. Turn off select surface objects. And then um, we're going to want to uh, if Monty, I think Monty by default doesn't come in quite as relaxed as this. So if he's not relaxed, you want to relax him uh, by just pulling him down a little bit, rotate his feet slightly outwards and get these pole vectors away from his knees. Because if you get them too close to the knees, you get nasty things like that. So just pull those away. Um, now, then the next thing we want to do is set our timeline from 1 to 49, because let's say, let's say, let's say this head turn is going to take us two seconds, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, something like that. So we might want to have Monty um, just looking over to screen left like that. And then I'm going to set a keyframe at frame 1. And then at frame 49, I'm going to set another keyframe here where Monty is looking over from one side to the next. And if we press play, we're going to get a very, very linear curve like that. And that is basically very boring. We really don't want that. Um, it's not 
very good animation. But we often see this. I often see this when people are doing a head turn, they'll do something like that. So what we want to do is, is find a way of making this uh, a bit more um, uh, a bit more a bit more snappy um, and with 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 more kind of dynamic timing. So let's go ahead and look at that rotate Y curve and let's let's set a keyframe um, halfway along at 20 frame 29 and let's also set a keyframe at say frame 17. And let's just pull that one closer to the first keyframe we set so that the the, the timing is a little bit more um, dynamic. And then we can go and do the same thing at 33. We can set another keyframe there and then move that. So what we're doing is we're getting we're getting a faster head turn by doing that. So we're gonna get we're gonna get something more snappy. And in fact it's still a little bit sluggish. So we can go ahead and um, Make it even more, even tighter like that. Okay, so now Monty's looking over. It's still very, very, um, very, very uh, stiff. So one thing we can do is have Monty add, add a little dip on the head turn like that. So as we go down, we can, oh, wait a minute. Let's go, Monty, go down. Uh, one thing it looks like I've probably not turned on is, Auto key. So let's go ahead and have that turned on. Yeah, because this is actually I haven't used this version of Maya lately. So there we go. There's auto key turned on, and also um, so now what we should find is just move this back so you can see it. Now when we do our head turn, we should find that no, I'm still not getting it. Okay, let's try that again. Whoops. Let me drop that down like that. Hit S. There we go. And let's um, just check. Yeah. So we're now getting a little bit of a, a turn there. Let's just soften that curve so it's not quite as um, extreme. Right. So, so now we're getting a little bit of a dip on the head as Monty turns his head. So that just makes it a little bit more dynamic. But one thing we definitely still need to do is add a blink there, because generally speaking, in fact, almost always, when a character turns their head, they're going to blink. So I'm going to select Monty's head here. And if I go to the channel box, I should have his left eye blink controls there. Now, there is another version of Monty where the eye blink controls are actually on some little dots above his head. And in order to see those, you want to go to you want to make sure that you've got NURBS CVs turned on. Or is it NURBS? Yeah, NURBS and actually possibly NURBS surfaces. Um, and you also have to have select surface objects turned on in order to select those. There's two versions of Monty out there. Um, so I'm just going to turn Monty's head like that and I'm going to have him blink on the head turn. So I'm going to go to left eye blink there, close those eyes on the head turn and hit S. Oh, and I need to make sure that's that's keyframed at the front and also the end of the shot, except it needs to be open at the end and also the beginning. So let's just type in one there. There we go. So then on 17, let's make sure it's open. So one on 17 and then on 33, let's also make sure it's open. So it's only gonna it's it's gonna go into the blink like that. So let's just press play again. So so that is a very simple head turn. So you've got a little dip of the head, you've got the eyes blinking on the head turn, and now it doesn't feel stiff and mechanical anymore. And there's stuff we can do to improve that, uh, make it more interesting. We could make it we could make the timing snappier. We could make it quicker. Um, there's all sorts of things we could do. We could we can add an overshoot at the end to make him feel more startled. We could have the eyes open a little wider. That would give him a bit more of a shocked look. But that is a basic head turn on a simple character. Try doing variations on that to um, see how you get along. But that that that's how to handle a very simple head turn on a basic character without making it too stiff and too awkward.